Hey guys, happy Vlogmas day nine. I wanted to show y'all, I got new wine glasses, so I thought I would do unboxing with you. So I thought I'd open these up with you guys. I needed to get some new wine glasses. Um, my ones from last year, I've got a couple, I had like, basically those kind of traditional looking wine glasses. But over the past few years, I've had a couple break here and there, and so I no longer have a full set. So instead of replacing with the same ones, I thought it'd be fun to like change it up and look at these guys, they're so cute. And these are hand-blown crystal. And I think they're really pretty. So I'm gonna unwrap all these. So now I have a set of eight, which is great for small dinner parties. And then if I do big dinner parties with 12, I'll supplement with my other wine glasses. Oh man, uh, I vlogging this I think has been going pretty well. I'm pretty exhausted, I'm not gonna lie. Like having to vlog and edit every day has been a lot. And obviously some, with my posting schedule, you saw where I combined. I posted two videos yesterday. I already posted one this morning. Um, and I have another one that I'll post tonight and then tomorrow I'll post the one I'm filming now and then that's just going to be the schedule I keep going forward that I have one a day. So, which I think will work. We got our tree last night and we were going to come home and decorate after we got the tree, but after we had dinner and we put a movie on, I was just so tired. I wasn't feeling it. And I thought, why push it? Like, it's just, this should be fun. I should be excited to do this. And I want to film everything. And, you know, Sam will be on camera, but it's not like his favorite. So I'd rather just do some of the decorating here. There's a lot to do. And it's also kind of hard because I'm making some decisions about where I want to put stuff. Uh, my mom is coming next week with more decorations for me, so some stuff might get moved around and be in flux as these things are. Okay. I really like these. I think these are so pretty. Moment of truth. And this one's good. Cool. So I should be decorating, but this guy <laughs> doesn't even want to be on camera. Joey, Joey, why don't you want to be on camera? Judge a boy. Joey, tell the people. You were just having snuggles with me and the camera comes out and you're like, hell no. This little boy is definitely, I call him my F boy cat because he's sweet on his terms and clearly doesn't even want to be caught on camera. He's all snuggling in my lap and then, nope, you're not catching me like that, not today. exactly how I had it set up so I know it doesn't like matter matter but I kind of feel like I'm being a stickler face okay what do you guys think that's looking good Okay, I got it. I looked at my old playbook, if you will, and so now I'm gonna decorate this with the poinsettias.
won't cup going on, honestly. So these are Christmas crackers. If you're not familiar, they're an English thing. Uh, you sit at dinner and each person, you turn to your neighbor and you pull, and there's a prize and a joke, and there's little crowns in there, and so they're super fun. And I also decorate with them. final product but for now it looks happy and festive okay guys I only got halfway done with the tree unfortunately uh, as you can see with my light situation I need probably two more strands of lights and unfortunately um, I couldn't find any at Target today in the warm white that we use so I'm gonna have to go to Home Depot tomorrow and see if I can get some, or I guess maybe not tomorrow. I guess we'll have to go Sunday and get some, but tree will, will get done. But meanwhile, look at what I, my cute uh, Christmas sweater from Target. I know I'm doing my no vibe, but Sam, could you give me permission to get this? Cause I didn't get Christmas pillows, which was one of my caveats on my no buy. So instead I saw this and I was like, I would much rather have this than Christmas pillows. And my mom may or may not be giving me some Christmas pillows anyway, so. <laughs> and then this is Heidi. Hey, everybody. And we're just hanging out, and I think we're just gonna enjoy, enjoy our wine. Cheers. Cheers. Heidi, tell me uh, your favorite Christmas memory. I was little, my um, mom <laughs> would say, okay, we're calling the North Pole. <laughs> and so we would, we would go in the kitchen you know, on the house phone. And then it would be my uncles on the other side and they'd be, they had the fan like blowing at them <laughs> on the phone on their side. They're like, hello, this is Santa. What would you like for Christmas? Oh my God. <laughs> and you'd be like putting your list together to get on the phone, you know, because if you didn't put on the list. Yeah, it was a problem. You <laughs> had to like, get on the list. was it. You weren't going to get it anymore. Oh and my God. For about five years, I, oh yeah, I really thought I was talking to Santa. And then I was like, maybe. But you had a direct line to Santa. So did you tell the kids at school, like, Hey, you better be nice to me because uh, I can tell Santa to put you on the naughty list. No. And then I was in third grade. I think I did talk about it when I was in third grade and my third grade teacher told me that Santa doesn't <gasps> exist. In third grade, <laughs> the teacher? Yeah. And my, and my mom was like, what? And I go, should we tell the others? No. <laughs> um, okay, so I found out there was no Santa when I was in second grade. Second and, grade? Yeah, dude. So like... The little girl who lived across the street from me, I remember it clear as day. Her name was Laura Edelman. Laura Edelman, if you're watching this, thanks for ruining the magic of Christmas yeah, for me. Uh, but yeah, Laura Edelman, she told me there was no such thing as Santa. And I was like, no, there's totally Santa because my parents told me and my parents would not lie to me. And she's like, oh, your parents are in on it. They're lying to you. <gasps> That's how she said it? Mm-hmm. And so I was like, no, my I and I believe my parents. I was like, no, this girl is a liar. She's trying to mess with me. She's bad news. I believe my mom and dad. So I go home and I go, mom, dad, we got to talk. Laura Edelman says there's no Santa and that you're lying to me. <laughs> but I know you would never do that. And they looked at me and they were like, what? I go, oh my God. And I remember it was the biggest betrayal of my life. And I just like, I think it was my first anxiety attack. I like just started like crying. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, it's true. It's true. It was like, it's like I got che cheated on, you know, in second grade. And I was like, my parents lied to me. Like, what is this? And they were like, well, just don't ruin it for Andrew because he's too little. I'm like, but you lied to me. You told me it was real. <laughs> just yesterday we were talking about, you said it was real. Why would you tell me a lie? Why would you? So the thing is when I have kids, because I will not perpetuate this lie, I will tell them about Santa, but I will tell them on the historical way about Chris Kringle who gave to the poor. Hmm. And it'll be in a historical fashion and like we celebrate with this myth and ethos of Santa. And even though we've told you this, a lot of kids do believe that Santa comes down the chimney, but we want to tell you because we really want to be honest because, and I'm going to tell them how it destroyed me 
but that it's a really fun thing to believe in Santa and that we're trusting you to be very mature and not ruin it for the others. This is so interesting that you're talking about this because I was thinking about this the other day and I was thinking about if like to my kids, I would, I would tell them, I was like, if you always tell them the truth, you have to always tell them the truth. You can't make up these little Easter Bunny Christmas. No, because it, it ruins, it, it shatters trust. Like, I'm literally telling you, I remember it. Because I'm, I'm crazy. Like, I have a wicked good memory. Like, I remember everything. Like, I have full conversations. Like, even when I was, like, three years old, I can vividly remember. I, I've told my parents, like, everything about how our house in Dubai was set up. They were like, you were so little there. I was like, yeah. And I remember this, this, and this. I remember sitting around my mom and her friends. And they would all talk, and I was like, this is so boring to sit around and talk. Like, I'm going to play with toys forever. Like, I remember my thoughts. Like, I was like, this is stupid. Like, and I would try to pretend and talk like them, and I'd be like, oh my gosh, you guys, and then a helicopter came down. And I was like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm talking, but I'm making it interesting. Why don't you guys want to play? I remember asking my mom, like, why don't you play anymore? My mom would have parties, and I would dress up my little brothers, and I'd send them into, into the party. Or like I told them that we're having like everyone. You dressed up like a girl. Yeah. Oh my God! Yes, I guess that's my brother too. <laughs> we did, did. John, like all me and my two sisters, we're like Richard's down there. He's already dressed like a girl, and like he has lipstick on too. He's like he does all gal lipstick. It must too. be cool. Yeah, and we, like we put him dressed as a girl. And we we send him into the party. My mom was like Elizabeth. <laughs> that's my middle name. We're like when I'm in trouble. <laughs> so. um... When I, when Andrew was little, I used to do the same thing. I think it's a random fact. Every big sister, like, dresses up for a little brother like a girl. Like, that's just what we do. He just went with it so easily. Andrew's so pretty, though, right? Like, yeah. he has those, like, pouty lips, dark hair. So, like, I tried to little, like, like handkerchief hair. around him like this and put rouge on his cheek and mascara and put little lips. Mascara. Oh, my God, the whole thing. And yeah, I had I a blush on him, too. I had a pretty little dress on him. And my mom, like, and we're, like, playing house or something. My mom comes up the stairs into the playroom, and she's like, Jacqueline, who's up here with you? And I was like... I was like, huh? And like, Andrew turns around and she's like, who's this? Who are you playing with? I was like, it's Andrew. <laughs> my mom didn't recognize her own child. She was like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> too good, too good. <laughs> and I had to talk about how I'm not allowed to dress Andrew up like a girl. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny. But he looked great. I, I, I honestly kept my lucky stars he wasn't a girl because like otherwise they would have been like, oh, the Love at Princip sisters, mm. they're hot, but shit, have you seen the young one? <laughs> Fuck, she's really pretty. <laughs> oh, she's cute, but like, this is, mm. One time we dressed up in all my mom's workout gear and I dressed up with my brothers. I'm like, come on, okay. And then, and then I made a routine up and I was like, let's do the routine. We gotta walk in and we gotta like do the pumps and we found her like weights and everything. And so we walked, like, in the middle of a like, dinner party, you know, they're all dressed up to the tees. Yeah. And we're walking in with her, like, workout, like, you During your whole day? Yeah. Do I bet it was so cute, though. <laughs> I bet everyone loved it. My mom's like, I don't even know why I put her in charge. <laughs> well, you knew this would happen. I know your audience, people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it wasn't boring, though. That's right. It wasn't boring. It was boring. It wasn't. And you know who wasn't in charge the next week? this person so with like your nieces and nephews like what are they doing with like your because i know you have a bunch of little ones do mm -hmm. they believe in santa or like do you feel do you feel conflicted if like because obviously you have to go with like what the parents are telling you right like you can't go against what the parents say well i kind of ran into this this year oh god tell because my little Share. nephew thomas just got a new drum set from <gasps> santa how cool is he oh yeah and he's good and he's good at it too oh, and so he's like 10 so like so I spent the night in my niece's bed, you know, she's like seven. And so, you know, we had to wait like okay in the morning, like if we sit in there wait till like we're ready. And I went and snuck in like donuts and, and coffee and like all these other things. I was like sneaking food to them because they weren't allowed to leave their rooms. But I was <laughs> No rules <laughs> was, for Heidi. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, so, and, so, and so I was there when he like opened up his presents and everything. And then I was taking him I don't know, to the park or skateboarding or something. And I was like, yeah, your dad was up all night putting together that drum. He goes, what? I go, what? He's like, I go, oh, see, the thing is, Santa just dropped it off and your dad had put it together. That's can how you, it works. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? He's like, is Santa real? I was like, oh, what? I like how he's going with the hard questions. Yeah. The counselor. Yeah, yeah, he's like straight up. He's like interrogating me. So what'd you say? I was like, you should ask your dad this question. That's basically a no. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Thomas. And then, like, I got in the car and I was like, "Hey, I'm so sorry, but this just happened." And I was trying to backpedal, but like, and then my moral compass with, of like lying to my nephew. Or you could have gone with your dad is Santa. 
Yeah, but like you could be like, well, we, I do have something to tell you. Your your dad is Santa. Yeah, but which wouldn't be lying because God technically is Santa. I saw yeah. Santa yeah. Claus. Completely. So you, that's that's what you go. Well, I do. You know, you know, your dad is Santa. That's true. That's true. But and I you'll didn't be say Santa that. one day. I didn't too. know what to say because I wanted to tell him the truth. Ooh. But like. And then I look over, and but it's like it not your place to make that and call. And the seven-year-old, and then like the three-year-old. Yeah, you can't looking at me, and I'm like, oh, oh, how do I? But see, escape out of this situation. If you take my approach of like being like, hey, from when they're little. Yeah, from very beginning, come. From very beginning. I agree with that. Cause like, and I think kids understand more. Like even like I think two two-year-olds and stuff like they're. Like they get it. Like yeah. they're way more cognizant of what's going on. Oh, oh yeah. Than like we give them credit for. So, oh, yeah. if I ever have babies, that's my plan. Babies. Win. Oh yeah, win. Salut. Ching. We'll drink to that. Drink to that. I can't wait for you to have a little, little baby. I did. Like you're gonna have a little girl. And she's just gonna be walking around a little fashionista. She's gonna be, uh, you know what? It's gonna be all my penance, like for who I am. Like I, it should be just like me. <laughs> but imagine all the fun clothes. Like you're gonna be dressed the same oh. when you go to parties. Dressed the same. Oh my god. Oh, and then like, and then like Sam can wear the same like bow tie as y'all's dress. Oh <laughs> my god. Or pocket square. I always used to say, did you ever watch the TV show Absolutely Fabulous? Mm -mm. Okay, it's a British show. You, I should show it to you sometime because okay. I think you think it's no, it's a you humor. Good tasting shows. <laughs> I drop great and taste. <laughs> a lot of things. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Go on. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Absolutely Fabulous. It's basically these two uh, ladies, and they're like super fashiony, and they get into all these like you know hijinks, and they're lushy, and like they party, and they you know do drugs. Like they're, it's like makes a lot of fun of like the '90s fashion scene, '80s and '90s fashion scene. Uh, well, in the series, one of the ladies has a daughter, and the daughter is just so square and just so boring, mm -hmm. and like does it. She's pretty, but like she's just like, you know, mousy are you, hair. Are just you not scared that that's gonna happen to you? Oh, I'm not scared. I kind of feel like how how else do you rebel? You know, like how do you rebel against me? Like you're gonna be square. Like that's what's gonna happen. Like I really feel like if I have a kid, like I'm gonna be like, oh, you could play with all this amazing fashion, and they're gonna be like, clothes are dumb. It's just function. Like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'll be blessed and she'll be into My it. My niece will not be square. This will not happen. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe my kid won't because, like, Sam will be a good influence. Mm -hmm. Sam's cool. Like, you can't come from two cool parents and not be cool. I know, but it does happen. It's like you mm, see two pretty people no. make an ugly kid. No. Dude, in modeling, do you know how many times I you would think, like, you'd be at these events and whatnot? And you would think like the, the you know the girl or the guy or whatever was gorgeous and you're like oh i bet their parents are just beautiful and the mom and dad would come in and wolf 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 it's like what happened genetics are a funny thing yeah but like i always noticed my friends in uh, school growing up like when you go to slumber parties and you, you meet them and then you meet their parents you're like mm, that makes sense so i actually funny you bring this up slumber parties i have an interesting thought on this I don't think you should have slumber parties anymore. Really? Anymore now. Well, now people are just kind of. Well, but like, but like back I, in the day, slumber parties were the best. Oh, they you were. Prinkle everybody. I prinkled but, everyone in every phone book. I can't imagine letting my kid. <laughs> like, I remember being friends with like my little friend who was in third grade. Like, I remember getting like sleepover party invitations. Mm -hmm. My parents didn't know those parents. Like, they met them once or mm -hmm. twice at girl, the same Girl Scout troop, but like they didn't know them. Like, I was I very, would never... We were very lucky. I was very lucky that. I had really good friends that had really good parents. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, really loving and kind and, like... But, but like... Not all people were like that. No, and the thing is, like, I mean, it worked out well for me, but, like, yeah. you hear these horror stories. Mm -hmm. Now, being an adult, and you watch all this crime TV and all these crazy things... Yeah, but also, you can't live from a place of fear. No, but I was actually on TikTok. Um, I was on... They There was this FBI agent that was, like, things I wouldn't let my kid do as the FBI agent. She's like sleepover she's like you you don't know who's there mm -hmm. it's not just about like the parents because like siblings, siblings could have friend over yeah. someone could come over and with most cases of SA they um, happen at sleepovers with kids with children and like it's you know is everyone supposed to know what SA is because it'll shadow ban me on YouTube oh, really? oh that's why you say SA mm. 
But yeah. But when I say that, you can just put the. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can edit it. I can edit it. Now we all it. know. <laughs> now you know. You know. But yeah, that's that's why. Like, I mean, obviously, like if you had a kid, like I would be comfortable. Like, mm -hmm. but it has to be someone. I'd be. It's not just gonna be like oh, like Jenny, like Jenny, like like my friend in my third grade class. That since you know, like that, like yeah, our kids play tennis together. Unless I really know that family backwards, forwards for years and years. And even if you do. Well, I mean, it's like there's there's certain people I would trust implicitly, like like Jason, Sophia, hundred percent, right, hundred percent, but Veronica, a hundred percent. Like I want Jason and Sophia to babysit me. Oh, <laughs> they would be so good at that. I mean, you go to their house, I'm like, what? I'm never leaving. Oh, yeah, Sophie's a hostess with the mostest. They, they both are. They're oh, both yeah. the best. You guys are great hostess with the mostest too. Oh, thank you. I just you know to be in the same sentence with that. Thank you, Sophie, if you're watching. Your hostess with the mostest. Friendsgiving was a hit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this Christmas snuck up on us. I've been celebrating Christmas since uh, the day after Thanksgiving. Oh, same. No, oh, I'm sorry, the day after Halloween. Oh no, I I, I wait till Thanksgiving Thanksgiving night. That's when yeah, Christmas. Yeah, she's a Thanksgiver. I'm the day after Halloween. I played. I play Christmas music at my store. Sophie's like kind of the same way. She put she decorates like before I mean, Thanksgiving. I everyone listen to it. They're like, no, no. I go, just listen to one song. I will say you I You enjoy do, one song and then I'll turn it off. I do get decorating before because like look obviously like I just did this today. Mm, it feels so good. It feels so good. And like mm -hmm. I wish I would have done it sooner. And honestly, what messed me up this year is World Cup. Because Oof. I've had a lot of games uh, and things to go to. Did it mess you up or did it add some fun to your life? I did add some fun, but I didn't do my decorating because right. I was busy doing. You had other priorities. <coughs> yeah. Well, but. once every four years at Christmas, well, yeah. Christmas has to be, you know. Well, but normally it's not, it's usually in the summer. Which in some ways I'm grateful that it's. That's in, true. That is so true. Because it's so hot. And I don't ever remember World Cup in Christmas. Dude, yeah. do you not remember at World Cup or was it Euro Cup? I'm not sure which one. But basically, pitch 25, it gets so crowded mm -hmm. in there. And then. Well, pitch 25, you are a great time. But it, it, but it got so. There's so many people, it's so crowded, the AC just doesn't work. And like right now, it gets not, it's warm. I mean, we're in Texas, yeah. guys. It's but warm, it's, it's not cool. cool. It's, it's, not, not it's not miserable, but yeah. it was, I'm talking, you're just drenched in sweat. It's so nasty. Like, yeah. I remember like trying to wave a fan on my face. I mean, it was, I was miserable. It was so fun when it was cold. Yeah. Was, because it was cold, it was cold out. So I made sugar cookies. It's a Pillsbury dough uh, cookies. Mm. And the thing, my, you know, it's like that break and bake. So I only cook a few at a time because like I like them fresh, right? Mmm. Mmm. Want one? I do want one. I'm just so full from Fleming's. Yeah. Shout out to Fleming's for You're your macaroni real. and cheese. No, yeah, your mac and cheese with lobster. It's not like uh, I made it's uh, not like I made them. Like it's just I really like these. These are synonymous with Christmas for me. I love sugar. Maybe I'll try one in a little bit. And they're crunchy because I, I don't like them doughy. Mm -hmm. I'm a crunchy person. Mm. Although, I think he's not even more crunchy. And I should listen to Sam because he's like, remember they cook after you take yeah, them out? Yeah, I do pull them out. But like when the first time I took them out, they were so like um, soft, I was afraid. And I think I, I shouldn't have been afraid. I think no. That, but that's okay. They're good when they're super soft. But it's okay because like, I, I only made four, so I only messed these up. You didn't mess them up. I mean, it's still good, I'm saying. Yeah. But like, I probably won't eat those other three now. Mm hmm But is that a bad thing? No, it's a perfect thing because I only make them a little bit at a time. Right. And then we have fresh cookies all the way through Christmas. That's right. Pro tip. And then you don't eat them all. <laughs> What's your favorite Christmas present you ever got? That's a good question. Huh? That's a good question. I mean, gosh, that's hard. That's hard. Um, favorite Christmas present? I asked it because I already know the answer for mine. <laughs> Nothing major, like horse or anything, has come into my life during Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> my best gift ever was Teddy Ruxpin. You remember him? Uh -huh. He was like this bear, and you put tapes in him, and he would talk. No. Oh my God, Teddy Ruxpin. 
<laughs> yes, he's the best way ever. And he has, I tell you, I remember everything from childhood. I wasn't lying. But he had a little guy named Grubby who looked like kind of like this yellow worm. And you would hook him up next to each other. And Grubby, like, because they had storybooks. And Teddy Ruxpin would do his part. And then Grubby would do his part. And they would sing together. It was amazing. It was like Shoba's Pizza that was like in your living room. Huh. I was obsessed. And on Christmas Day when I opened it, my dad told me, he's like, you just were like, you couldn't believe that you had Teddy Rex in it. He's like, that was the best. So we compare every gift to Teddy Rex. And we're like, it was almost as good as My parents surprised me one Christmas with a car, which was almost as good as... Almost as, as good. They got me, yeah, they got me my blazer. My dad was like, go look outside. And I saw this oh. like red car. And I thought immediately in my head, because like, I'll say it because I don't care. My parents just let me have like parties in high school, but not let me. There was like a don't ask, don't tell. Like if they can tell a party's going on, I'm in trouble. And in my mind, I saw this red car in our driveway and I'm like, which one of my friends like passed out in the lawn or something and didn't go home and didn't get their car moved. I was like, uh, uh, and then my mom was like, it's yours. And I was like, oh, great, great, great. That's great. But that, I told my dad, it was like almost as good. So a car. And it was a Chevy Blazer. It was such a cool car for high school. I got a Ford Ford Explorer for Christmas for my for my. That's um, what my boyfriend aunt. in high school drew. Yeah, it was cranberry. I got cranberry that's what, uh, Ford Explorer. Same color. That's, yeah. Whoa. And but it was my sisters and I had to share it. And I was like 14, and they were like 16, 17. So you know who ended up driving Not every you. weekend? Oh no, it was me. It was me. Spoiler. Because I was the sober one. Because I was 14 and they were 16, 17, 15. Watch that spirited movie. Everyone, you should watch the spirited movie with Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell. <laughs> it is so good. And if you've seen it, good afternoon.